weird name. I gotta sort of prance up here. Um, how is everyone? Good. I'm not actually here to tell jokes. I was gonna play creep. No, just kidding. Um, speaking of creep, dating is a thing I tell jokes about. Often. Um, I'm not, I'm not bad at dating. I'm just playing like really, 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 really hard to get. Like impossible to get is what I'm saying. Like I, I've made myself almost completely unavailable. I'm now like no text, no phone calls. I'm making dudes contact me via telegraph. So when I meet a nice feller at the box social and he says, can I have your number? I say, sure, it's And if he's like, I'm sorry, I didn't catch them. I'm like, oh, that's okay. It's um, yeah, I don't like I don't like text. I I don't like um, I don't like getting that uh, text. All of you ladies have gotten this text at 11:30 at night. That's like, what's up? What do you? Th I am a white woman. And it is 11.30 on a weeknight. I am watching Golden Girls. What do you think is up? <laughs> Common sense, my friend. Um, I, actually, I actually have a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet sitch with dating because I am a chubby chaser. I like a fat fellow. I call myself a portly pleaser. Um, I please the portly. Um, it's not, calm down, it's not an orientation or anything. It's not, I wasn't born this way, I don't need a parade. It's just that as I've gotten older, I've realized how important it is to me to find a partner who doesn't make me go hiking. I, I'm sick of all this outdoorsiness. I want my man active in the LDS church and nothing else. No sports, no hiking, no nothing. I don't know what it is with all my friends in hiking. They're all like, let's go hiking this weekend. And I'm like, or we could sit here and eat this. And they're like, no, hiking. And so I'm like, if I'm dating a fat fellow, I'm like, do you think we should go for a walk or something? And he's like, let's just sit here and eat this. And I'm like, I concur, obviously. Um, I am finding out, though, that most of dating is, uh, it's relatively simple. Um, the biggest thing with, uh, for me is just try not to get murdered. <laughs> this is difficult for a tiny white woman. Even my apartment is deadly. The place that I live, I'm, see, you gotta understand this too, I am trying really hard to be a good hipster. And part of that is living in a vintage apartment, which means lead paint, it's impossible to regulate the temperature, plaster walls, which are kind of like brick walls, but less forgiving. I have the Ted Bundy of apartments. It's extremely charming and is definitely trying to kill me. Don't quite know what to do with myself. Anyway, uh, you guys have been great. Um, it's a little, I gotta say though, it's a little hard to hear you laugh in this room, so I think we need like a signal, like, like if you are going to laugh, instead you should just say like, rhubarb. Rhubarb. If you think something's funny. Yeah, rhubarb, there you go. But you also, you also have to promise me that even if I don't make it, even if I don't make it to the next round, y'alls will still be sitting here yelling rhubarb.